I am originally uh, a visual artist and I started to do theater because I felt a bit uncomfortable in the 70s. Oh. That's dark. <laughs> in the 70s when I was studying in the Royal Academy of Ghent, uh, it was very conceptual. And um, I was, uh, I'm a very active person, I'm quite restless. And in the solitude of an atelier, you have uh, sometimes problems to be in confrontation with yourself. So I started to do more and more performances. They were very political in the beginning and uh, there were street performances and out of these street performances I started to make theatre by coincidence and I, so I never studied theatre and I thought theatre was a very um, mediocre medium uh, compared to the real arts. For several re reasons I thought uh, theatre was quite perverse because it picks and chooses from other arts and it never had uh, in the history of theatre there was never uh, this thinking process the thinking process for me uh, in my uh, education starts with, in 1917 with uh, Marcel Duchamp putting the urinoir on in, the, in the museum to say look this toilet is art uh, that was a revolution, that was a deed of uh, total uh, deconstruction of art. And I think the, the 20th century was a deconstruction century. Uh, we deconstructed so, uh, almost everything, including our, pa our planet, um, <laughs> on every level. <coughs> but this, the act of Duchamp uh, is catastrophical. It's very difficult and uh, it, if you're now in the 21st century and you look back to the, f to the 20th century, then you think what is now uh, so important with Duchamp? Why um, does it confuse us still? And one of the reasons why it's so confusing is that when you see the urinoir of Duchamp and you don't know anything, you just see an urinoir and I think that is the weak point of this deed that you have to know the, the surroundings, you have to know the thinking process before you understand the work and I think um, what Marcel Duchamp forgot is the, the eye of the beholder when you see for an example the pyramids in Egypt Imagine you come from another planet, you, you, you land into the sand of the desert and you walk like days in the desert and then all of a sudden you see this pyramide. Even you're a complete moron, you feel that it's something very interesting. You don't know what it is, you don't know why it is there, you don't know it is a grave tomb, you don't know anything about Egypt culture, but you understand the beauty of it. With the Urinoir of Duchamp, you just see an Urinoir. And that is maybe why in the 21st century more people start to think in art how can we connect again with society and how we can construct after this necessary deconstruction we have to construct again that's a little bit theory so um, I connect this 1917 moment with a few years later while Disney making Snow White <laughs> Uh, those two pieces of art, the Urinoir and Snow White, maybe those two works were the biggest influence in my work. I, I think you have always two, two different levels uh, as an artist. What do you want to say and how do you say it? The how thing is, that's the thing where you become an artist, I think. You have to... Uh, when you see the Pieta of Michelangelo, that's my favorite sculpture, um, you have, of course, the content of uh, the Mater with, 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 with Christ. Uh, and that's the easy part. Michelangelo was living in a society where the artist didn't decide what was the content 
he, Michelangelo was only working with the marble. He was interested in the marble, whatever he had to do. The marble was important. How he made from marble flesh, like uh, Roy van der Weide or all the, the big painters we, we know, Velasquez, they were interested in painting. And they had to paint the King of Spain or they had to paint uh, Jesus Christ. That's not so important. They, art was in function with uh, the religion or with uh, the state. And in, in the, also in the deconstruction mechanism of the 20th century, God is out. We declared God dead. That's exactly what Duchamp said. We declared God dead and we replaced God by art, but I think God was much more interesting than art. That's the conclusion of Duchamp. Um, and, <coughs> and so, um, what we do in the 20th century is try to find a new identity for an artist. So, for me as an artist, the how thing is important and then we have to see what. So, Art became like self-portraits. We talk about ourselves, performers in the 60s, people doing this, uh, cutting in their own. It's like finding yourself again in a totally lost society or something. So it, it's, it's quite narcissistic. Uh, and and the, 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 the thing with the Sad Face, Happy Face trilogy is that it is very autobiographical. It, the, all the stories we tell on stage in the six hours and a half that you can see also on Sunday now is almost everything is taken out of the reality. I mean, uh, the stories in Isabella's room uh, or the stories in the lobster or the stories in, um, in the deer house are personal stories. I didn't invent them. There is no experimental theatre or classical theatre or conventional theatre or avant-garde, I think there's only good and bad theatre. We did everything and now we need to find a reason again to do so. When you see the work of Neat Company, you see ten, uh, I can say, so very good performers uh, and it took us years to find them. So uh, I co-founded Neat Company with Grace Ellen Barkey. The, wo the woman in silver is Grace Ellen Barkey, the, the, the long back here, <laughs> where is she? So to get, we, are, we, we, we started Deep Company 20 years ago together, 25 years ago, um, and we decided to find the right people. Uh, the first thing I said when we started in 85, 86, Neat Company, I said we have to fight against, against this upcoming nationalism. So we said we do international theatre, we need to have at least seven different nationalities on stage. <laughs> and we found them all over the world. And the result of that is, as a writer, when I write my plays, I write them in Flemish, and I never hear them in Flemish. <laughs> so also this is good for your thinking process, because in Europe the, the nationalistic, and you know that very well also here, the ultra-nationalistic government you have, we have that also in Belgium, more and more. And those people, they are not interested in art, they are not interested in culture, they are in interested in their own identity, which is, which is a fake identity. So I think the more we think global with art, the more we become Danish or Flemish. And not, it's not the opposite way. I think theatre is fantastic. The visual art market is so much controlled by a very radical and very vulgar capitalistic system. Um, makes me feel very comfortable being in theatre because you cannot recuperate it in this system. You cannot sell it on the market. You have to do it. Uh, 